demo. In this demo, we are going to show how Copilot can help us in constructing a Sprint Boot API application. So we will be defining some of the models, then a data access layer, controller, then go for a testing angle. So starting with a simple model, I am going to create a customer credit rating model with the help of the copilot. So I am asking the copilot with a proper prompt to define the customer credit report class with the specific fields and waiting for the copilot to come up with the suggestions. So you can observe that the copilot is able to provide me the complete customer rating uh, class. So now let me go to the payment report area. That's the second class I needed. Here also I am defining or asking the copilot to help me with the complete class definition. So this is the payment reporting class where you can observe that it's again come up with the proper fields and the construct and a getter and setter for all the fields aligned to the customer payment report area. So let us move to the third class where I'm asking Copilot to define, define the fields for customer ID, name, address, phone name. Some of these elements are there. So let me just accept as it is. So it's went ahead and creating these few fields for us, phone number, email, and if you are observe that these two fields, uh, which is customer credit rating and payment, these two are linked to the existing models. Uh, it understand that I have a credit rating and payment model exist, that two models are automatically linked here. So as I'm going for a simple data structure. I'm just removing that from my construct as of now. and ask copilot to come up with a getter and setter. So the customer ID get set is done, name get set is done. Now we have few more items. Uh, what's the next one? Address, phone number and email. Let me ask copilot get and set for address. So the address is created set is done now for phone number again the same approach I'm taking get and set so the next one is the email so get and set is getting added properly now if record I can go ahead for the credit rating with the construction of the credit customer credit rating object from this class definition and all so i am not taking this as of now instead i am asking the copilot to define a method for validating customer email so let me see whether copilot is able to give me some suggestion for validating my customer email yes it's able to give some customer email validation i just uh, taken it down so I think uh, I have accepted a lot of codes, but uh, this is what the validation is done. And if record phone number also, I can keep it. The remaining validations as of now, I don't need. So I just uh, remove that one. So this the class definition is done from a uh, setter getter of the fields and the construct and the validation form, the email as well as phone number. And it's a simple validation in terms of some existing that the rate or the length of the phone number. Instead of that, if you want a regex based validation, you can modify the prompt and get the details further. So let me move quickly into a data access layer. Right now I am not connected to any specific database. So I am asking Copilot to define a method to return sample customer data so this is what I need just a sample customer data so it's a just return a class sending a customer data return but I am expecting a customer object so I added the customer object and added the import properly here 
for it is demo app i need to include the models so dot models customer this is what it is so hopefully that is the exact thing here the models is there okay there is an s also so the customer is added now i can construct a customer here customer as you can see the copilot provided some details here i can just fill the remaining things and complete the customer and return that customer as a input for my get customer data so the data access layer i'm just touching upon getting this customer data i'm going to the controller and asking copilot to define a method to get customer data so it's added the routing the response body and the complete details and it's a link to the customer dao as well so i just need to import this specific classes dao as well as the customer one these two models in record so if you notice the complete class and it's constructed and returning a string based on the uh, customer data object either you can return as a string or the object itself in the json format you can return it here so right now i am fine with the string so i'm going ahead and testing this one so let me just open this running this application so it's build is in progress as you can observe it's um, coming up and hopefully yeah it is in the 8080 let me see whether it's running or not so i am going directly into not into the customer 8080 and my customer prompt this is the data as i it's converted to string not a json data you are getting all data one after the other now let us quickly look on the testing angle as well we can add the testing also using copilot define or you can say add test cases for customer api so it's start adding the test cases here so let me just check what kind of data i am returning there is a john smith is returned so i just checking whether the return contain john that is enough for my test so let me go ahead and see whether this test can be run run this test okay let me run this particular test and see is the copilot generator code is actually working fine or not so it's executing the test as of now as you can observe it's uh, successfully completed this test if it is something else like um, girish or something and go ahead and run the test it's supposed to fail it let us see whether the test case is taking care of this negative scenario as well cool it's failed the reason is uh, the expected actually is this one but it doesn't contain girish this the string it's uh, not so that's a quick demo of how the copilot can help in your spring boot based controller definition and the test generation angle thank you